Hello, my name is Michael Mudgrove. Today I'd like to run through how to install OpenShift Express Tools on Windows. First, you will need an account, so go to the account at the sign up page, press the Try It Now link, and enter an email address. And a password. You're going to need this password later on when using the Express Tools. And the Capucha. Okay, and now it will take you to the Red Welcome page. Part of the registration process, it will ask you to, um, it will send you confirmation email. You'll have to go and type that in to complete the registration process. So here is the registration link I need to apply type into my browser. And to type the password you printed previously when setting up the account. Log in. Accept the legal terms and conditions. Okay, so you'll be presented with a page telling you how to get started using OpenShift Express. So on this page we'll show you how to install the tools for various platforms. Today we'll be going to show you how to do it for Windows, various prerequisites, including the SIGWIN tool for running Linux-like commands under Windows. So let's go and get the SIGWIN tools and look for a file called setup.exe which will do the install of SIGWIN for you. Okay, we'll run that. Executable. Next, accept most of the defaults. Perhaps use a different mirror. And there's a search bar here for the various packages that we're going to need, the various prerequisites for running Express. So let's open the SSH. So I've already done this on my on my computer, so I'm going to keep that one. Also I'm going to need a copy of the Ruby tools. Keep that one. And make is a system for a build system for building source files. And the GNU compiler. And we use Git for managing the various files that compose the applications that you're going to be deploying into the cloud. We're not going to be downloading some some tools that are zipped up, so we'll need zip and also wget. Okay, so that's Sigwin set up and the various packages that we need installed on the PC. Now if we start up a Sigwin shell, and we can go initially go and in, in download and install the Ruby gems. So Ruby gems is required to install the various R the Red Hat's cloud tools on the local machine. So then W get to get the Ruby gems. It's downloaded. We need to unzip the download. And now we can initialize and install those Ruby gems on the local machine. And we do that with the Ruby command. Okay, that will take uh, a little while. So while it's done, while it's installing, you can see where we're up to. We've got the prerequisites install install Sigwin. We've downloaded the Ruby gems. And we're busy initializing the Ruby. After that, we'll be installing the R Red Hat Cloud tools themselves. Okay, so installing the Red Hat Cloud tools, command line tools. Okay, so now we're in a position where we can actually start um, building our cloud. So the first one we need to do is to create a domain. That domain, you know, that's an internet domain name, subdomain. That will be associated with our account information. So we've got a namespace for our applications, which is MM, and the account login that we use when signing up for the Red Hat Express tool. So we're going to add a password for that. We're going to go, you'll be prompted for that password later on when running various app commands. And it's just simply some passphrases, so any passphrase will do. So that passphrase is used so we can securely commit various changes to our application to the cloud. Now we have the domain associated, we need to create, we can actually go and create an application. So the command for doing this is the RHC create app command. And we need to give a name for our application, any name will do. 
and also the type of container that's going to run application. Here we'll just use the PHP container. Okay, so the create application command is going to go and contact with the uh, server running in, in the cloud, an express server, and it's going to populate the domain. It's going to create a lot of files, so effectively we're going to use git to manage the files, so that will end up being our git master. It's also populated in the DNS worldwide, so that anybody can look at our pages. And the password passphrase we were asked for earlier. Okay, so now we can see the Git local Git repository. I'm going to edit one of the files in our Git repository, which we're going to look, look at the um, index page, make a small change just so we can see that the changes are actually accepted. Okay, now we need to commit that change. Now that we've committed the change we can now push it to the cloud with the git push command so the passphrase we were asked for earlier so that's now pushed so now we can go and check to see if our changes were actually applied so if we go to the the domain name and the application so we've got the domain the application name is app1 domain is mm and subdomain is mm and the rhcloud.com is the domain and we can see there that that change has been accepted. And this concludes the demonstration of how to install and use Red Hat OpenShift tools on Windows. Thank you.